Uh, you guys have defined, this room and everybody in this room has defined the last year of my life and it's been the best year of my life. There's no contest. It literally has been. Woo! You're welcome. So thank you for being a part of this. Except for you. <laughs> Caught that on video. So, <laughs> this, one, this one's called um, A Love Letter from Thunder to Lightning. I am searching for you. I am always searching for you. The other day I found you, where the rain and wind lose their minds. They fight in the most grandiose display of domestic violence. I wish somebody would teach them how to love again. It's sad that I can remember when the rain fell for the wind and the wind would sweep her off her feet over and over. I don't know what has changed them. You appeared, your wings whisked through the clouds like an electric butterfly that whispered itself into the role of kamikaze pilot, like chaos theory is ever more beautiful in free fall. So by the time the fire works its way through the clouds, you'll have become fireworks like waves through the clouds. And you came down on the shoulders of the earth and gently kissed the dirt, reassuring it the storm will pass. And then you disappeared as quickly as you arrived. I wish I knew where you came from. Some days, I dream that you've come from some distant planet where languages become obsolete and souls communicate in something roughly translatable as what we call dance. And love is nothing more than that moment when two souls are perfectly choreographed, <laughs> even when no one else is watching. You were the definition of free, of eternal. There have been centuries where no eyes have laid upon you, but that has never made you dance less passionately. Tell me, what is your secret? I want to know everything about you. I wish I knew how to move the way you do. I would ask to join you, but honestly, I'm not even sure if you're aware I exist. So I will continue to search for you. Like I am searching for the meaning of life in a minefield, recklessly, but willing to risk everything. I catch a glimpse of you on the horizon, and I cry out your name as loudly as I can. I make the ocean tremble. The sleeping drop their dreams like trust in a room full of thieves. But by the time my voice had traveled the distance between us, you were nowhere to be found. I'm sure. I'm sure that you've traveled to some distant place where the rain and wind lose their minds. I am not trying to cage you. I want to fly with you. I don't want to be loud anymore. I just want you to hear me. I would give up everything to just be able to whisper with you. And we would speak so softly as to not disturb the dust. And our conversations would last for centuries. It's not like we are in any rush. And you can be my light. And I will be your house. We will complete each other, becoming the grandest lighthouse the universe has ever seen. And I will follow you the way sound follows light, traveling to wherever the rain and wind lose their minds. If only you knew I existed. But you make me feel like I am chasing my own shadow. That no matter how close I get, I will never be quite close enough to grab on. So for now, I will continue to search for you. In the hopes that one day, you will hear me, know that you are not meant to ride out the storms alone. Because despite the distance between us, we are meant to be together. We have always been meant to be together.